guys, welcome back to the Homestead Cyberium. This is Jamie and I'm coming to you from our maker space. This is a place where we have lots of tools to help you get creative. So today we're going to look at a craft from the Cricut machine. So I'll show you what that is in a minute. And if you're familiar, it can help you cut paper into really pretty shapes. So we're going to do a craft called Springtime Cards. And this is something that you can pick up as a kit from the front desk of the Cyberarium. So I've put together some things for you, some of it cut from our Cricut machine, which we'll look at in a minute. And I've told you what we need to do the craft. I've got all the materials you need, and we'll go through it together. All right, so a little bit more about the Cricut machine is that it's a cutting machine. Instead of printing something from the computer, it will cut a very intricate design. It can cut paper, vinyl, and many other um, different kind of fabrics and materials. So the first thing you need to do is to gather your materials. You'll need glue some tools to help you separate the pieces from the card. Here I have tweezers and scissors. Then you'll need the, the card that has the pre-cut shapes. And a blank card with envelope. Next, you'll need to separate the pieces from the card. Take your time doing this. And if you need to, you can use scissors to help you remove the shapes or trim uneven lines. You can place them either long ways or tall. Make the design however you like. Before gluing the shapes down, arrange them on the card in a design you like. Leave space for a handwritten greeting on the front of the card, and then use tweezers to hold each shape and apply glue sparingly to the back and glue down. Set the card aside to dry, and after it's dry, write your handwritten greeting on the front or a warm message inside, and now it's ready to send to a friend or loved one to wish them a happy spring. So now let's talk about some of the books that we have here at the Cyberarium that will help you with some of these paper crafts. If you really enjoyed this craft today, you might be good at some of these. Here's a book we have about Japanese flowers. So they're Japanese paper flowers. It's written by Hiromi Yamazaki. And she goes through some really beautiful, beautiful methods of creating paper flowers, all different kinds. Reads. So this one might be a good one. We also have a book about paper flowers in Spanish, written by Kelsey Elam. I'm gonna put a link to all of these in the description below. These are very, very delicate, delicate paper flower techniques. We also wanted to throw in a little book by Hoda Kotb because it had paper flowers on the cover. Isn't it pretty? Really needed this today, she says. Words to live by. And I'm sure that everybody would enjoy reading this book. This one's in our large print. And one final book that's really helped me a lot in learning the Cricut machine and other cutting machines is this book by Leah Griffith, Cutting Machine Crafts. And in this, she talks about all the major tools that are needed, um, some good techniques to use, some tricks of the trade, and also how to create really pretty products for your home and, and personalize things. So I really enjoyed this book. All of these are available um, at the Cyberarium for you to check out. 
I'll put the links below to our catalog to show you which ones I was referring to. And hopefully um, you can join us again for another craft.